Before I get into this video guys, make sure you go down and subscribe as I post daily GTA, FIFA and Call of Duty content. Also be sure to leave a like down below as it helps out the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's get into this. Yo, what is going on guys? Really? As soon as I start recording my intro, you run me over, you fucking piece of shit. Anyways, yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Laser Gaming. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now, the day has finally come that a lot of GTA players have been waiting for for a long time, and that's double money and double RP on all land races. Of course, this is all part of the Rockstar's Labor Day special weekend. As I explained in yesterday's video, it was air races yesterday, and only today it's land races, guys. So if you're currently watching this video, make sure you jump on GTA today and make the most of it, as it's only happening today, the 5th of September. However, in this video, I'm going to include some of the best land races that you guys can do for money and RP. So even when this promotion runs out, if you guys still like racing, you can still come back to this video and bang out these races. Personally, these are the best races that I know of. Like I have a lot of guys in my crew and a lot of people that are like level 600 plus that only do racing. So I went over today and I asked these guys, all of them, I says, can you give me a list of some of the best races that you guys know of that are easy, quick and pay well? And they pretty much all said the same three races. So if you guys want to enjoy this video, do be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe. Also, before we get into this video, if you guys are watching this on the day I post it, there is 25% of all high performance vehicles. So if you guys need, like, need a new sports car, need a new Zentorno, a T20, do be sure to go and get it today because that car that's 2.25 million, imagine you guys are saving like over half a million if you guys go and buy it today. So you can also save a bunch of money during this promotion if you play it smart. Let's get into the video. Okay, so for the first race I'm going to show you guys, it's a race called Criminal Records. Now, any of you guys that do a lot of racing or just even a bit of racing, you'll be like, yep, I know what this dude's talking about. This race right here is legendary on the GTA racing scene. It's basically in the prison and all you got to do is just go in a circle. You can complete a lap, I think, in like 23, 30 seconds. So it's extremely quick. Plus, it's extremely easy to fill out the lobby with max players if you guys want to go ahead and host actual mission. This is one thing I want to explain now at the start of the video if you guys are unfamiliar with how GTA racing works. Basically, you get more money for the more laps you do and the more players you have. So I always try and get, I'd say, max players. While it's double money and double cash, everyone's doing racing online. So just wait. Just give it like literally a minute. It only took me 40 seconds. As you can see, this guy fucked me up right at the start of this race. One thing I'll probably say on this is put it on a non-contact. Because if you're like me and you're like those dudes, you like to race clean, but you always get those fucking little pricks that come out and take you out of nowhere. However, stay tuned for this video because I do turn on these kids at the end of the race. This is why I like this race. This is another thing I want to mention. You can always come back. Like, you're never really out of the race. You're only like 10, 5 seconds behind people. And it's quite easy for the people out front to take each other out and for you to come through, take over the race. However, getting back to the point I was making at the start of the video is you guys want to try and do as many laps as possible. Just try and, if you guys got like a little group of players on mic, I'd say put it on, just go crazy and put 20 laps on. However, what I aim to show you in my videos is that you can earn up to 14 to 15k roughly in under 5 minutes. So I only put it on no more than 6 laps because I know it took me about 30 seconds to finish each lap. So I knew I'd complete this in under five minutes. So by doing that, I could give you guys an overall idea on how much you guys can make from each of these races. Like I said, if I would have just put an extra four or five laps on, I could have earned an extra 10k as easy as that. And it would only took me an extra two minutes. However, I just want to keep it flat rate, under five minute races. You can earn 14, 15k plus around 5k RP. So seriously, guys, these races are by far the best. If you guys want to suggest any more races in the future, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to go and check them out. However, criminal records, as you can see, that prick that took me out earlier on, the orange guy, he tried it again if you guys are paying close attention. Come straight into second here. And there's only a few laps going. However, I keep the faith, keep going strong, keep in to the corners. That's one thing I want to say. Don't let people come from the inside on this race track because you want to try and keep that inner circle. That's how they fucked me up earlier on, is coming through the air. Uh, inside however as you're about to see here this is why i'd suggest putting slipstream and catch up on because i'd zing past this guy in first come take in the early corner and this is it the last lap i don't mind holding second right up into the last lap as long as you got catch up on because all the pressure's off you whoever look as you can see he's trying to take me out but because i hold the inner circle i know i can get some slipstream on him 
and come in and take first spot. However, that guy that was taking me out, he was in seventh, guys. That wasn't even the first place. So this is what I'm going to say, non-contact if you want to take no risk. Whether second place is literally right up my ass, right behind me. I'll keep holding the corner. As you can see, you can't overtake me as long as you guys hold the inner circle. So stay as close to the dirt as possible and you guys should be able to maintain first place. However, look at the final ending of this race. It really does get close. I start turning, the guy crashes into me and knocks me over first spot. Really tight race. This is what I like about this race. It really is open. Anyone can win it on their day. However, you're going to see it only took me three minutes to complete this and I got over 12k cash and 4k RP. Like I said, that race was only on six laps. So I would suggest doing, if you're going to do criminal records, put it on maybe like 12, 13 laps so you guys can get over 20k payouts. It really is a good race. Open, easy, quick, fast. Now moving into the next race, we have another legendary race called Down the Drain. Now, like I said, the majority of GTA race experts that I asked, they was like down the drain, down the drain, down the drain. Instantly, all of them told me straight away. And as you can see, I've just hosted this lobby and it just got filled out instantly. Less than 30 seconds, I had eight players. So you know you're getting max payout, which is pretty insane for this race, I'm not gonna lie. I only put it on two laps and that only took me two and a half minutes and I got over 12K plus 5K RP. So we're thinking, I want to base this on five minutes, two and a half minutes times two. Come on guys, that's like 24K for four laps. So definitely put on four laps if you guys have got five minutes to spare. As you can see, this race, we did turn it on non-contact, which worked out to my benefit. Because as you guys know, there is one turn on this map that pretty much fucks up everyone. So that's why I went for the non-contact. So I'm going to give you guys a few little pointers. See these little jumps right here? Always take your foot off the acceleration and then slam it down again as soon as your car lands. This is the turn I'm talking about, guys. Brake and then go for the inner circle and turn quickly. Because everyone always holds A when they do that little grid, little drift. And it always fails. So as you can see, I've gone from fifth straight to six and here this is what i do to try and get first place is stay as close to the river as possible so you're doing less distance than the guy in front of you and you can also see him in the distance because i know there's a big turn up here with a little jump so what you can do is just fully break and let that guy fuck up as he does they usually do because when you're in first place that all the pressure's on you this is why i never like being in first place as you're about to see he tries going over this goes a little too fast i take my foot off the acceleration and close the distance a bit however he still is in first place however all the pressure still is on him and as you can see in the bottom left someone ends up backing out of the race that's in last which means the payout dropped from 14 and a half to 12 and a half however i'm not really bothered about 2k at this moment because i'm in second place i'm just waiting for this guy to fuck up this is the one the jump that made it for me if you can land it perfect just keep your foot on the acceleration i went straight into first place because that guy messed up now once you're in first this is where you want to keep a cool head just keep on going keep, make sure you keep looking behind you as well just making sure you ain't getting too close as if that slip streams on you have to keep moving left and right to make sure they don't come at the last second and try and take your first spot however my fully upgraded Zentorno is never let me down when i'm in first spot all you need is a little two to five second lead and you shouldn't fuck up i nearly did there watch out for these boxes that's one thing i want to say there's lots of random objects that's plotted up on this map that you could fuck up from however this turn i just take it really slowly i take no risk spinning out even though i know this guy is right behind me literally look as you're about to see, it's another close finish. I managed to scrape first again. Now, I'm not even a racing beast, and this is two out of two that I managed to come first. Now, one thing you guys might also notice, a bit off topic, is the color of my car. It's that purple chrome, and it keeps changing color. That's a video coming next week. It's a paint job glitch on how you guys can put four to five colors on your car. So, I know I'm going to see some comments like, oh, yo, what, what color are you using? What crew color? I will tell you guys next week, so just stay tuned for that. However, as you guys can see, over 12K and 5K RP for literally two and a half minutes, and the guy backed out. So, if that guy didn't back out, I think it would went up to 14 and a half if i'm right so a really op race everyone ends up dropping a thumbs up as you do for down the drain okay so coming in for the next race we have a race called taking off this race right here only, only takes about three and a half minutes and i'll earn you 14k cash as well as over 4k rp so another race that pays extremely well it's only eight players so it shouldn't take that long to fill out the lobby and i'm not going to show you guys the majority of this race as i do kind of flop in this race the first one i kind of flop i ended up coming fourth i basically just mess up really bad at the beginning of the race i'm sure most of you guys have been
in there where you fuck up so bad it takes you literally 20 seconds just to get back on the track skidding out turning and the race is lost by that point this race i put on four laps like i said it only took us three and a half minutes to complete it as you guys can see on the leaderboard right now not only did this guy get 14k cash but what the fuck eight and a half thousand rp for a race holy shit that is some old school blow up 2 RP right there guys. Now honestly I can see myself smashing that race out even when it's not double RP in money because that's still 4.5k RP for like 3.5 minutes. Insane. And legit guys, legit. Well, I'm going to show you guys a few more races I just came across today that really do pay well. These are random races. This is actually one that was made by someone in the community, but then it got Rockstar verified, which means obviously it's a certified race. Anyone can do it. So this race is called That's What She Said. I know, guys, classic name. It has been verified, like I said, so some of you guys should be able to launch this straight from the pause menu. And what this, I'd say, this race is actually pretty good. Lots of good jumps, lots of turns, lots of corners, lots of good locations that it takes you through. So I respect rockstar for checking this out and verifying it as it does deserve to be verified however this race only takes you four minutes to do two laps you earn 13k plus four and a half k now bear in mind we only had four players in this race you can get eight players and like i said the more players you have the bigger the payout so i really do think this race right here has potential to earn you 16 17k and over 5k rp as long as you guys are patient and the guys don't back out the race now as i did mention at the start of the video it's all land races so some of you guys might not have those b supercars and might want to keep it old school and go on a pedal bike <laughs> like i said it is double money and double rp for everything on land so this is one bike race that i suggest doing however i really did fuck up setting up this one because i put it on gta bike race which obviously means you can use weapons now i didn't realize people would just jump off their bike and straight up keep fucking me up as you can see i do keep it going really good at the start but as soon as weapons come on it just goes downhill real quick i'm holding second position for a long time and out of nowhere sticky bomb blows my ass away end up finishing sixth because i'm so far behind by the time i spawn back in however as you can still see the guy that finished first got an epic 5k rp plus 14k and it only took us two and a half minutes these like after i finished all these races i only done them for about half an hour i had six figures in my bank account because i always like to withdraw my money when i start a new session so i can kind of work out how much i made that day if i'm doing the right thing but as you guys can see i got fucked up right there and that was it from that point on i lost this race so definitely turn weapons off that's the only advice i'm going to give you this mission is called on your bike yeah it's spelled year y-e-r so keep an eye out for it it does pop up quite often when you finish your mission and you get to select things so be sure to select it and give it a go if you guys come across it however as you guys can see 12 and a half k cash and 5k rp for two and a half minutes on a bike race so the final one i'm going to show you guys is actually one called swamp monster and i kept coming across this race do you know when you select next job so i thought i'd include it as it's a very popular job and you earn 12 and a half k cash plus over four and a half k rp and most importantly it only takes around three minutes to complete this race that's two laps three minutes so one and a half minutes each lap extremely quick extremely easy so there we go guys an epic top five races that you guys should definitely smash out while it's double cash and double rp for all land races today not only today guys because if you guys enjoy racing be sure to come back and do these races when it's not even double rp because these are the best paying races in my mind full stop whether it's double cash or not so do be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys need to find a good racing crew or if you know any other races that i forgot to mention do be sure to leave a comment down below if a suggestion i'll be sure to include it in an annotation feel free to drop a like if you've enjoyed this video also subscribe for daily gta 5 content i've been laser gaming thanks a lot for watching see you soon